What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 22, 22 again. Good grief. So Madden 23, mutt gameplay here. And we got the divisional round, man. We went undefeated in the season. I think this is the second time I've done that this year, go undefeated. We get the huge game right here. And so we're in the first playoff game. I think we got division. And then I think there's conference. And then I think there's something else. And then there's the championship, I think. I think it's like two, three things. I, I think I got one Super Bowl this year. I don't think I've, I might not have got one. I definitely been to the Super Bowl twice. I know I lost one Super Bowl, that's for sure. I don't know what happened in the second one. I can't remember if I won the second one, but we definitely want to win this game here. <laughs> you gotta win this game uh, to advance in the playoffs. We got three to nothing already. But this was a, uh, I don't even know how you describe this game. I, the first half was very defensive, very defensive game. My man, he got a no money squad. I basically got a no money squad, but it's funny because his no money squad is actually better than my squad. <laughs> and I've actually paid, you know, a couple of dollars for like five dollar packs. Like, like I've only maybe I've maybe spent. People love going deep to the tight end right there. That's even in online rate matches. It's a thing now. Maybe it's something in somebody's ebook. I have no idea. But um, but yeah, I've only spent like thirty bucks really on Madden this year. That's all five dollar packs. And I really haven't gotten much. I got a couple coins here and there. I really haven't got I haven't, haven't got nothing um grand out of any pack. I haven't got anything spectacular. Not yet. It, it's due though. Like you you keep pulling packs. Um because I you know you get a lot of free packs, of course, you know, playing the solo challenges and all that. But you know, you keep pulling packs, like eventually you get something. I, I've I've gotten a few things. Like last year I got the Devontae Adams like late. I think it was the ninety seven overall, and it was like four hundred K. Right here I went deep. Because Rice did have the guy beat. I did not see that safety. That safety came out of nowhere. I don't know why they didn't make Jerry Rice, 92 overall Jerry Rice, fight for that ball a little bit better. I have no idea, but he's up getting that pick third down and 10. He goes over the middle in the middle of traffic. Um, horrible decision, but he ends up getting it off. He goes to the right right here, double coverage. Um, probably should have had a pick there, but didn't get it third down. And seven, I'll take that bat down. Though. But right there, we end up batting that down. No fourth and seven, he decides to go for it. This guy, he's like me. Kind of, I guess I guess I'm at that point in jail. I just don't care. That that was a good pass. No, it was right in the middle. Um, I watched my. Usually in mud, the defenders step up and pick that off. But for some reason, he didn't on that play right there. He goes deep. He tries a uh, big play slay. He's a, a big play slay a better ball down. Now, as far as intercepted, he hasn't got no interceptions for me to, as of yet, except for in solo battles. Like, one solo battle. I put it on pretty hard difficulty. He got four interceptions one time, uh, which is kind of wild. But as far as, like, competitive regs or playoffs, as you can see, um, he hasn't really got him much. So, it's halftime, and the score is three to nothing. It's been, it's been a very good defensive game so far. So, it's, we're up three. Ball to half. He goes over the middle again. I'm like, man, somebody... Yeah, <laughs> like what is going on? Like, yo, this dude really going over the middle. Uh, I wish Big Play Slay would have played that better, but he didn't. 95 overall card. We end up getting that. Though. We, we get that nice stop right there. Second down to 10. He goes to the right good pass. But my opponent, he was wide open fourth and four, man. Why not go for it? But we end up stopping him right there. I was a little shocked we stopped him because he's been doing a pretty good job of uh, – just getting down the field. I think he's been getting down the field better than I have, but we, we end up throwing this pick down. This interception here, this guy wasn't even in the trajectory. So I'm not, Mana has to fix that. Like, cause think of it, he's guarding the guy that's underneath. I'm going over the top. But these guys, they got these guys jumping up like Michael Jordan. Like, that pick has happened to me so many times. Uh, only because he's following the guy over the middle and he happens to get the interception. So I'm just like, I don't know. I, I guess I can't really do that play no more. Like I said, unless I, I got to wait for him to go much deeper. But that play, um, I think it's another interception. And this interception was crazy, too, because now they, <laughs> they're probably thinking, like, LP got something to say about all these interceptions. But here, here's the problem, my problem with that interception. Now, he was in a cover three flat. Cool. Now, that gives that, that, that space between the corner and the safety open. Like I said, unless you get sacked or something like that. I don't really have a problem with it, but I was shocked that the corner, that's the first time I ever seen the corner go up and pick it off. Like, that's the first time I've seen that, like, all year, which is kind of wild, but no bother. We're down seven, which is nothing. We go, and look at this. I thought I had the position, but.
but he picks that off too. I'm like, man, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, I guess. <laughs> and then he catches this over, over Harrison. I want to call him Harrison Ford so bad, but over Harrison, which, which people normally don't do. Pick right here by Harrison. That, that, see, that's normally what happens when people challenge Harrison. That's why I got him back there, but he's able to get that. But look at this. We had the man so much beat, and even my boy Harold Carmichael <laughs> doesn't catch the ball. I'm like, what's going on? At this point, I'm like, okay, maybe this is just not my game. But we still got 30 seconds left, though. 30 seconds left, fourth down to 10. We end up getting sacked right there, and, and, and that's the game. It's, it's It was just one of those games where everything was just going his way. I mean, this guy honestly could have blew me out. I ain't going to hold you, man. He, he could have blew me out, man. He didn't. Um, I play this guy in a seven-game series, especially in regs. He doesn't win one game. But unless he gets a game like this where everything is just like Jay Rice getting picked off deep, that normally doesn't happen. Like, that normally never happens. Usually Jerry Rice fights for the ball, and at least he'll make him drop it. And then the pick where I got the position, um, I got the frontier position where he picks it off anyway. It, it's, there's just times where I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is why, like, like, this is why I don't take this game that serious. That's why it's just for fun, man. Because hey, I'm glad there's no money on the line. Because like, if that was a game with money on the line, I, I, I probably would have broke my controller. I'm not gonna lie. I, I probably would have been pissed. Like, if I had like a hundred dollars on the line, because the sometimes it's not all the time. Like I said, it's one of the best Maddens I've played in a long time. But sometimes, even in this Madden, like, the trajectory, the angles, knowing when to throw the ball, when not to throw the ball, it's really weird at times. And I, and I wish they would find a way to make that more understandable. Your boy!